Hello, everybody. Uh, we come to you with less than ideal circumstances around uh, bringing you this part of the program, I guess. We do this every single week. It's generating discussion. It's sparked by Covens. We love those people. We still do the War Chair Report because that's how much we love them. And we're not doing a full podcast today, but we do want to recognize our value subscribers that still hop in the mailbag every single week, Corey. And as everybody knows, best question of the week gets showcased. We say, fire up the cameras, fire up the generators. Uh, but folks all across the Big Bend are firing up generators and uh, really struggling probably by the time you folks are seeing this. I'm in Jacksonville, Corey's in Atlanta. Corey's going to get a, a, a dose of this storm yeah. uh, probably later yeah. on in the day Friday. So um, don't want to get too overly somber, but man, listen, your, your boy's not happy right now. I mean, I'm, I'm, my house is going to get blasted. So uh, with that said, though, Corey, uh, the best question uh, came from our guy, Naked Bull, and I'll produced it so we can see the question uh, over our faces but he says during stadium construction a powerful artifact that can send someone back in time for just 10 seconds is discovered it can only be used once to prevent the tragedy that is the 2024 fsu football season the decision is made to send Corey s clark back to january 2nd 2024 a few days after the georgia game he has chosen because he turned the 21 season around with the question he will appear in Mike Norvell's office that evening while Mike is alone. What does Corey Clark say to Coach Norvell in those 10 seconds to ensure that the Florida State football team starts the 2024 season 4-0? How would Aslan use his 10 seconds? Hmm. You want me to go first? <clears throat> I, I, yeah, you knew this was coming. I, I was going to say yeah. I, I was waiting for you to fire up the generator, but we're not, we're not doing that part of it. Um I, I would say if I got 10 seconds, I almost want to be timed. Um, it's I've like, got a clock. I can see it. Uh, your offense won't work with DJ. Your offense is going to be the worst in the country through four games. You have to make huge adjustments on that side of the ball or you're going to be an embarrassment to the sport. Nine seconds. Nine seconds. Man, some I just hope he'd believe me. I hope he would believe me, but I would tell him that. I think mine was just going to be – Get Cam Ward. It's going to be really, really expensive, but you have to get Cam Ward because if you don't, everything is going to go wrong. Yeah. Fair, yeah. not fair? Sure, yeah. I mean, legitimately, I just wanted him to know how bad the offense was going to be with what he was planning on. And, like, I would think he would then – yes, you. but I don't know if it's just Cam Ward. It could be – um, you know, again, I think it's more the offense is horrible, not just – the one player, Cam Ward would mask some stuff, but oh. yeah, I would like him to just know that whatever he's thinking is going to be awful. He needs to figure something else out. You have nine months to figure it out. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're probably more accurate because there needs to be one. And I don't want to pick on DJ, but it just feels like at least you kind of knock the legs out from, you know, Miami to help you out. Yeah. True. Yeah, it's, imagine telling him like, if we had a minute to like, this is what it's going to look like after four games, you're one yeah. and three, your offense is like dead last in power four. Clemson looks really good again. Miami looks really good again. Um, I wonder what he would think. He'd be like, what? Like, yeah, he, I just 66 to three, and then now this wakes for yeah, me? Yeah, he would think we were lying is what he would think, yeah. Oh. And you're going to be an underdog to SMU. Hmm. Four and a half points. All right, shout out to Neck and Noel. He gets thrown into the uh, monthly drawing. We'll do on next week's episode of the podcast where we do generating discussion sparked by Cummins. We'll we'll do our monthly gift bag drawing for Cummins swag. And then you'll also be entered into the grand prize drawing for either a portable generator or a portable power station. So um keep your fingers crossed on that. On the way out, Corey, over unders. Uh yeah. I'm not gonna write them down, but I'll just go back and listen to this and then and then start the form. You want to do the same thing where I give you some ideas and you you, you set the lines or do you have some uh, ones in mind you want to do the whole thing? Run I got one that. in my I got one in mind right off the gate. Uh, over Florida State offense over under 20 and a half points. Okay. All right. I wish we knew what the over – I mean, it's out there. But I don't know it off the top of my head, but the, the point total for the game. All right, so Florida State 20 and a half. Um, Corey's going to be looking that one up. What about longest completion for Florida State? You want to give me a number, Corey, that you think um, like 56 and a half? Oh, I was going to say like 41 and a half. Okay. All right, we'll do that. All right, yeah. yeah. I, I just give the uh, the proposition. You set the actual number. All right, so longest completion. Um, 
sacks or TFLs? You want to do one of those? Yeah, that's a good one. I think it'll be less because of the mobile quarterback, but I would say TFLs. I think last week was 12. I'll set this one at, um, let's say, seven and a half. Okay. That's still a hefty number. Eight, if you go over, you're you're assuming eight tackles for loss. That's a lot in a game. All right. Um, do you want to do a Master Romano longest punt? How about um, – yeah, that's a good one. Let's say um, – is it indoors? SMU's not indoors, is it? No. It's going to be nighttime, Dallas, a little muggy. Artificial turf. I don't know how that affects the bounces. How about like 54 and a half? Okay. Okay. So that, that's what gives us four. Four, not yours. Yeah. Longest completion, TFLs, mass. So now, are- now Florida State is a six and a half point underdog. Um, that number, yeah, the, the the number keeps going up. They started out at like. What, is, so what does that mean? That mean more people are putting money on SMU or Florida State? More people are putting money on SMU. The people that matter are putting money on SMU. So Florida State is now a six and a half point underdog. They were a three and a half point underdog when it started. Um, so they think it's going to be looks like like thirty to yeah twenty eight to twenty two. So yeah, they oh. think Florida State's going to score right around twenty one points. Hey, how about this one? Um, this will be the fifth one, and I'll leave you the sixth one. How about over under the length of time on the WarChant.com recording? That'll be posted to YouTube of Mike Norvell's post-game press conference. I'm going to set it at 6 minutes, 25 seconds. He's pretty good after losses. Oh, they might not lose, by the way. They could win. It's going to be weird. I don't know. Like, Warchant won't have anybody out there because of what's going on in Tallahassee. I don't no, know how many – local- Iris going, man. Isn't Iris going? What? No. Well, you know, uh-uh. So, uh, I don't think. Maybe he's flying out Friday. I don't know. Yeah, but either supposed- way – they're, they're, that's if planes are in town. Um, odds are it's going to be 50-50 at best, whether uh, there are going to be local beat riders there. Okay. So if they give us a Zoom option, I think it goes oh. well, well, well over six and a half yeah. minutes. Yeah. All right, man. All right, man. I won't use that one then. Um, how about uh, Kyle Morlock mm. uh, completions or receiving yards? Or is there somebody else that we should uh, put the light on and shine on? How a, yeah, I was gonna say like any other tight end catches. Okay. Like over under over under on any other tight end making <laughs> okay. a catch. All right. And I'm gonna put that at uh one half. Okay. Half of half of a catch. Okay. All right. So either no tight end makes a catch or somebody other than Kyle Morlock catches a pass. All right, I like that. And then all right, so we need one more and then I'll figure out the, the tiebreaker. What about rushing yards for SMU's quarterback? Okay, Kevin Jennings. All right. So I'm pretty sure the last – I don't want to scare people because last week he ran for 41 yards. I think the game – and he played the majority of the game against BYU after that the starter got yeah. off to another bad start. And he only ran for like 35 yards in that game. And he was 15 of 32 for with a with an interception, a couple interceptions maybe. So he didn't look great against SMU or against BYU. Uh, which is the only defense they face that's kind of really anywhere similar to Florida State. So it wasn't like he was running for 120 against them. Still, even though he's only averaged 36 rushing yards a game in the last two games, I'm going to still put it at 54 and a half. Okay. All right. And then tiebreaker is going to be DJ Uwe Ungalale passing yards. Mm, okay. That's a good one. All right. So there we go. Those are over-unders. That'll be pinned to the top of the Tribal Council, WarChant.com. We'll also have it maybe in the comment section pinned on this video. Actually, no, because we got to give a shout-out to our guys over at Cummins. Um, We'll tweet it out, though. Jump in there. uh, Leave it. You can win $10 to Garnet and Gold. Uh, So what else are you waiting for? All right. That's a wrap for us uh, on everything we've done this week. Uh, Again, just, man, T's and P's. I'm not the praying kind, y'all. By the time you see this, it might be too late. Uh, mm-hmm. But if you want to throw one up for your guy and everybody else that you know in the Big Bend area, um, and Corey too, man, you know you guys are yeah. out of harm's way either up there. So, well, and I have uh, a house in Tallahassee too, so uh, I'll, I'll take all I'll take all the help I can get. I'm uh, I don't remember one quite like this hitting. T- we get them a lot, but not not one quite like this that's coming straight at us or hit us almost dead on. So hopefully everybody's okay, and hopefully your property and your yard and your 
car and your loved ones, everybody is okay. Your favorite football team doesn't stop pushing its limits on the climb to the top, and neither does a global power technology leader like Cummins. Cummins has released its new QG4000i generator and is taking it across the country to show America that whether it's turbo diesel engines or taking it easy in your RV, life is a little bit better with a touch of the Cummins lifestyle. The own and unplugged tour is crisscrossing the country, including a stop in South Bend, Indiana, home of Notre Dame, when the Fighting Irish hosts Florida State on November 9th. FSU will play like a champion. You come by and tailgate like one. Follow Cummins Lifestyle on Instagram for updates and don't forget to get involved every week in generating discussion on Wake Up War Chant for your opportunity to win free Cummins swag and a chance at a portable generator or power station.